What is the macula? What is age-related macular degeneration? What are the types of AMD? Who are the people who are at risk? How common this condition is? Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Chaitra Jayadev. I'm a retina consultant at Narayan Netralaya. Today, let's talk about age-related macular degeneration. Now, first and foremost, what is age-related macular degeneration or more popularly called as AMD? Well, as the name suggests, it's a condition that affects the eye or particularly the retina in patients who are over the age of 50 years. Now, what is the macula? It is the center most part of your retina, which is responsible for very fine or very important vision as we call it. Now, who are the people who are at risk for developing AMD? is those with a genetic predisposition or those with a family history, a strong family history of people who have had AMD in their relatives, in their siblings, in their parents. So these are the people who are at risk factor. Obesity is also another known risk factor for AMD, high blood pressure or a diet that is high in saturated fats. Also very, very important is people who are smokers. So these are some of the risk factors and one uh, factor that is related to race is that we see it most commonly in patients who are of European descent. Now we know the risk factors. Let's look at what are the types of uh, AMD. Well, there are two types. One is the dry AMD. The other one is the wet AMD. Well, dry AMD is seen in at least 90% of patients, whereas wet AMD is seen only in 10% of patients. Now you would ask me, what are the risk factors you mentioned? What are the symptoms? How do we know that we have AMD? Unfortunately, many patients do not have any symptoms when they have dry AMD. It's an incidental finding. Most often, we only see it when patients come for a routine examination or for cataract screening. Whereas, wet AMD is seen with patients who come with loss of central vision, those patients who have distorted lines or distorted vision, some of them even complain of floaters. So these are symptoms of wet AMD. Now you would also want to know how common this condition is. Well, in the West or developed nations, it is seen very, very commonly. In fact, it is more common than even cataract and glaucoma put together. It is seen at least in 20% of patients who are above 65 years of age. In India, we don't see it as much as in the West, but it is still a very, very common cause of permanent vision loss. Now, how does one diagnose AMD? Now, we've already spoken about symptoms, but how does the doctor examine you? As soon as you come, we will, of course, check your vision to see how much it's damaged to your retina. Second, we'll put in dilating drops and we'll check your retina. We may even do certain tests like an OCT scan, a scan called as Octa. Sometimes when the diagnosis is not very clear, we do something called as an angiography test, wherein we inject dye and we check whether there's leakage in your retina or not. Now, once a diagnosis of AMD is made, the next is the different treatment patterns. Well, for dry AMD, there is no specific treatment as such, but there is one study called as the ARET study, which says that giving antioxidants can at least keep the disease stable. It may not cause improvement, but at least in a small percentage of patients, it does not cause worsening. Now coming to the wet AMD, as I said, it's seen in only 10% of the patients. These are the patients who actually come with frank symptoms. They have a membrane that is formed below the retina, which causes leakage of fluid, which can cause bleeding, which can cause floaters, which can even cause sudden drop in vision. So once we have diagnosed your condition to be wet AMD, the most common form of treatment that's available now to us is an injection that we give into the eye. Those are called anti-VEGF injections. These you would require on a monthly basis till your disease becomes stable. Once your disease is stable, the retina specialist will call you monthly or twice a month or depends on how severe your disease is. And sometimes they may even call you after three to six months, you know, just to keep a close watch on you. But should you develop any symptoms, you should immediately go and see your retina specialist so that we pick up the disease early and treat you early. Because there is no permanent cure for AMD. What us retina specialists can do is to treat you promptly so that at least we can preserve the vision you have and give you slight improvement in the quality of your vision. 
Next, you would ask me, is this a permanently blinding condition because I told you it's irreversible. Yes, it can cause some amount of permanent deficit of your central vision. This means you may not be able to read, fine print or even read your newspaper. You may not be able to recognize faces immediately or easily as you could before. But what it does not do is cause complete blindness. You will still be able to live a life independently and do your daily activities, you know, with a little bit difficulty, but you should still be able to manage. You may not be able to drive comfortably, but that's still okay. You're not going to be completely dependent on somebody for your day-to-day -day tasks. How can you prevent AMD? I think that's a very important thing that you all should pay attention to. If you are last smokers, you must immediately stop smoking if you have been diagnosed to have any form of AMD. Definitely get your blood pressures under control. Have a diet that's high in antioxidants. Naturally occurring antioxidants are there in plenty. Have a well-balanced diet. Try to reduce uh, your saturated fat content. I must say that if you have a family history of AMD, please ensure that you go for an annual checkup to your eye specialist. And if your eye specialist picks up that there are some changes in your retina, then do visit a retina specialist to ensure that a thorough eye checkup is done and AMD is ruled out. Let me conclude by saying age-related macular degeneration is irreversible, but it can be treated if it is detected on time. Thank you so much.